Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bhargav, Director of Hematology, Pediatric Hematology and Bone Marrow Transplant at Fortis Gurgaon. Let's talk about lymphoma. When we say blood cancers, the hell broke loose on us. When it's lymphoma, we don't know what to say. So let's do that, friends. Blood cancer is no longer a death sentence. Lymphoma is a part of a blood cancer treated by hematologist. Lymphoma is a conglomeration of 50 to 60 different entities which behave in a different way. When you have a cervical lymph node, go to a doctor and get a biopsy done. The commonest myth that doing a biopsy will increase or will spread the tumor is wrong. Without a biopsy, we can never come to know what kind of a lymphoma we are treating. Out of 60 lymphomas, if we have to cure you, we have to tell you how long you are going to live, how better your prognosis is going to be, which drug to be utilized. We need to do biopsy. And biopsy is an easy methodology which can give you a result within 24 to 48 hours. Once that is there, armed with that information, you go to a doctor to get a PET scan done to know what is the stage of the disease. If the disease is only limited to one point, this is stage one. If the disease is here and in the chest, stage two. If the disease is here, here and beyond, below the umbilicus, below the diaphragm or in the abdomen, is stage three. When it is involves the bone marrow, the lungs, the liver, it becomes stage four. Let's not disheartened. Even stage four lymphomas tend to survive 60% times. If the stage 1 lymphoma, the curability rates is 80-85%, stage 4 lymphoma has got 60% survival. Lymphoma is a special type of a cancer of lymph nodes which we need to remember. So anytime you have a swollen lymph node, you need to go and check your doctor to get a biopsy done. After taking this decision of which kind of a lymphoma, whether lymphoma is Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's, in Hodgkin's lymphoma, the survival is close to 80%. In non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, again, it could be B-cell or it could be T-cell. In B-cell, there's a targeted medication called CD20, which can be utilized. In today's world, the lymphoma treatment has become very, very personalized. If tomorrow, five people of us has got similar lymphoma, we'll all be probably treated according to a genetic makeup differently. So there is no clear cut, shortcut answer to that. We need to know what kind of a diagnosis based on the tissue diagnosis or a biopsy. Then to do a staging by doing a PET scan and a bone marrow. And third thing, the organ toxicity by doing, seeing heart echo and a kidney scan to know your kidneys and heart are doing well, you are subjected to chemotherapies. Once the chemotherapy is done, 60 to 70 percent people are cured. Those people who are not cured, 30 to 40 percent people can still be salvaged by doing a high dose chemotherapy followed by stem cell transplant. And when once we do that, 50 percent of these people also get cured. The rest 10 to 15 percent people who are not cured even after doing a transplant are subjected for investigational agents. And believe me, the future is bright as the lymphoma science is growing. We have a better understanding why lymphoma occurs. Once we can do that, probably we can prevent it. But till that time, we have a very, very strong medications to do that. And we are proud to have as a state of the art lymphoma center at FMRI Gurgaon, which deals in basic research of lymphomas and doing a personalized treatment for these patients.